everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm going to show you a flip through of my personal wide planner hopefully this all goes well I apologize for any ambient noise the windows are open and we do live in the downtown area so it's a beautiful sunny day this is also the second time filming this so I apologize for that my nails are done up for inauguration day, so hopefully by the time you see this, this will be up and everything will have gone relatively well and fun. Um, let's jump into the planner flip through. This is a Print Pressions B6 um, personal wide rings. He calls it B6 personal wide rings planner. Um, this is in the medium gray. It comes with the strap. This is from one of his newer collections. I will try and link it down below. There are two button snap closures, so if you wanted it tighter or if you wanted it looser, he made this compatible, like I said, for B6. Um, you could also put personal wide rings in there because he's discontinuing his personal wide rings line, but he says the sizes are pretty comparable. There is a pen loop over here, which I don't really use. And then, so there's no customizations on this. This is just how it comes. Very, very pretty. And I have been living in this basically since December. I did do a flip on my Instagram stories, which I saved in a highlight, but I wanted to do one on here for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram and also for posterity and for ideas for other people who find this up oh. oh in I'm gonna zoom you in just a smidge so in the front pockets so this there is a card slot pocket and then there's also cross cross pockets so in this front card slot pocket I have a J die cut sticker um, I haven't taken the back off of this yet it's got glitter confetti in it I thought this was fun this was from the Target dollar spot also in this pocket I have a bit the business card from Print impressions and the business card from just any printables that came with the planner I just liked it for the colors and thought it went well with all the colors the kind of color theme that I'm going through like pink purples whites marble yeah you'll see it as we go through the this is a bookmark that has my name, my last name on it, which you can probably see on the channel and what it means. And then the back says Bingata, which is like an Okinawan word for their dyeing method. So I've just been having that in there because I liked it. Also, I got it from my mom and I didn't want to lose it. And then also in this pocket, I have a set of print pressure stickers, which came with the planner and some other planner society stickers i think these are from a super long time ago that i got in a box i have creating and co stickers which i'm doing the creating and co reading challenge which you'll see later and then i also have a couple of hobonichi kits which work well in my kind of the setups that i'm using lately and i also like these designs um so yeah that is what is in this front pockets. I try not to keep too many things in there just because I don't like my front pockets too stuffed or anything like that. On this side of the planner, this front dashboard is from Lights Planner Action. It's from a long time ago, but it I just liked it. So I kept it and I also found it in my collection. A lot of these things, I found it in my collection. I haven't really been buying planner supplies recently or my hope is not to buy any this year but you know super tempted by collections so we'll see um so anyways this card is from lights planner action it says be a voice not an echo i just thought it went well with the setup of like pink purples marbles astrology fun stuff on the back i have a happy planner um, pockets and I just wanted some more pockets in there also it fit but that's why I have it sideways and just in the pocket I have some comedies tickets I have a name die cut 
um, from type A for Alexa, which I never put down yet because I'm indecisive. And then I also have a stamp card from Cream and Roll, which I'm not even sure if they're open or if we can ever use the comedy tickets again. This behind here, I have a dashboard from type A for Alexa. It's got a basic border with the J initial down here. I have it in hollow, I believe is the type holographic holographic yes that and all my dividers are type a for alexa i'll show you more when i get there but i believe it's hollow um if not i will put it down in the description what i got um so yeah if they are a little banged up since i've had them for a while and i'm not the most careful with my planner but it still looks good in this light um, behind it, I have a postcard, a postcard that says "Love in Wire," um, which I also got a long time ago. I don't remember where I got it from. Then I have a marble vellum, which came with the Print Pressions Scribble Prints Co. collab, um, and I believe this is cut down to personal size. So, but I just liked it in here, and I wanted something dividing it. Um, the first section in here is my password section. Um, held the part I know is held to together with by a Happy Planner magnetic paper clip. They aren't the strongest, but I like the design of it with the hearts. Um, I know that people get really weird about keeping passwords in here in their planners, but some of these are like hover. Like passwords that I don't use often and then I try to keep my planner never out of my sight so there is that also like none of my work passwords are in here they're in a separate um, planner binder thing so these passwords um, password tracker is from Jesenia principles I will zoom you in a bit closer so you can get a better look at these um, on the web on the top it says website with a strip of pink you can also get these in gray um, but I just like the pink um, it says username email password and then it goes down there's four on a page and I have several of those printed out the and then let's, okay so the first divider in here is called agenda and these are the moon phases from type A for Alexa, which I mentioned, I don't know when this video is going up, but I will link to her website. I love Alexa and she is amazing. Um, but yes, the first one here is Agenda. Um, this paper is from the Scroll Prince Co. Print Pressions collab, the marble paper, the doily, I believe is from Target. And this card is from an old Popco sticker collection it says find beauty in every day on the back is just the back of the paper this I card I journal card I believe is from Teresa Collins this J is I believe from a rose colored days or clever girl crafts um just any a printables collab and this die cut sticker it says you are not alone neither are you from Star Wars with Ray and Kylo Ren came from like a local craft no Comic-Con I don't remember I don't think the girl is around anymore but there's that and I thought it was super cute so that's why I put it in here I have another piece of that marble vellum which I did punch crookedly which is why it has washi on it then this 2021 calendar section is from SM Plans. Um, she has, I don't know how this calendar quite works. Anyways, so I have a 2021 calendar. I have a 2022 calendar on the back. Another 2021 calendar on the back has the holidays. It came in an SM Plans bundle, like I mentioned, which I will try and link to down below. Then they have important dates on the back and another calendar for 20. 22 with important dates this divider thing uh, 
pocket is from Rose Colored Days. It's her the ones that has her star, star print. I believe this is her silver stars. I will try and link it down below if she has it. Um, and the journaling card inside is from C. Amy Draw. It says, even miracles take time from your fairy godmother. I just thought it was really cute. Um, this die cut is also from C. Amy Draw and it came with my order when I ordered in October. This die cut you can buy is also from C. Amy Draw. It says, it's from Moana. That voice inside is who you are with Hey Hey and I forget the pig's name. Pua. So there is that. This tracker is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's just a fold out. I'm trying to track my period for this year. And on the back, I have one for workout. So I just printed mine front and back. It comes in a bundle. This is my YouTube blog tracker, which is a fold out. I believe it also came in the same bundle. I will try and link to everything down below, like I mentioned. Um, this dashboard is from Aria's Daydream. I put mine in Silver Hollow. I have several, so you can see them. I thought this was really pretty. Behind that, I have my 2021 goals as well as my word of the year. The categories, I tried to match it up with the Moxie Life. Even though I'm not using that, I did like that goal setting system, so I put something in every category. Um, don't know if I'm gonna reach there. This sticky note is for my Okinawan trip, which has now been postponed, but I just wanted a reminder of how much money that I needed to have for that trip. This vision board I made on Canva. A lot of these things are Canva, just basic Canva. I'm on Canva free. Some of these are downloadables from Persnickety Prints. They do have vision board quotes and things like that and I just printed it out. The next section is my monthly. Let me see if I can find a monthly that isn't too busy so I can show you things. Uh, okay. So here is the basic monthly. I got these from Justinian Principles. Um, I picked up the, when I initially picked these up, um, she didn't have her 21, ca 20, 21 calendar up for the year from January to December. Now she does, but I picked up the ones that were undated. So they come with a floral pattern, which um, some of the designs change. Um, you can just put in your month and then number it. It's a month like on two pages. So it comes with the calendar. Then there's a box for finance important dates, monthly task, weekly tasks, like just a task tracker and some goals. So I printed off enough for the whole year. It comes with some note paper in the back. I just thought that one was really pretty and it went with the vibe of this planner. Then also in Canva, I made some currently loving lists. I liked doing this the last time I had a Brings planner. So I decided to try it again. I made one for every quarter. If you want it to see that, or if you want them, I can do it as a freebie. So I made one for winter, spring, summer, and autumn. It's pretty simple to do, but I can also give it to you guys as a freebie if you want. Um, this acetate is another one from the Scribble Prints Co. Print Pressions collab box. And I just put the silver side up. I also didn't cut this really well, as you can tell on this side, it's super crooked. But it also comes with a gold on the back, if you can tell. I have notes from tips for, for 30 days to plan our commitment, which was a video series. I will try and link that playlist down below. I thought that was really fun. These are, these, little three by three die cuts that I punched are from Studio L2E. I will try and link her Instagram if she still has these up down below. It was one of her free printables for the new year. This January, 
um, title page is from SM Plans from her Facebook group. I just like her how simple this design was. Um, and then it also did a good intro to my weekly section. Um, this is the current week. I am currently using the Lights Planner Action Medley because I wasn't sure which kind of um, inserts that I really liked since it's been a while. And I'm always changing my mind with inserts. So it gives you a variety. The Met the Lights Planner Action Medley insert gives you a variety of inserts to you. So you have scripts, you have boxes, you have columns, you have horizontal um, columns with notes and things, a week on one page with to-do list, long columns and all the different fonts, more weeklies, um, longer different script weeklies, a weekly overview page, florals, and that's about it. And then, oh, sorry, hold on. That was notes from my thousand paper cranes that I did that I'm putting together for my parents. After my weekly, the Lights Planner Action Weekly Medley section, I got any plans printables with Coffee Monsters Co. Um, so this is a week on one page with a week on two or like two days per page and then a weekend combined. So I'm gonna try those inserts afterwards and they do have lined paper in the back. So that's the end of the agenda section in my finance section. This dashboard insert is a printable I believe I got from um, Pinterest. You can just Google Stitch and see what comes up. I just liked it. Then I just have a dashboard card on the back to make it a little stiffer. I don't think I like that. Yeah. I just wanted another design and I also wanted stitch in my planner. It's love stitch. Um, this don't touch my pants die cut I got at a planner meetup. This this is a port key die cut. Um, is from Fox and Pip from a long time ago. If it's still available, I will link it. This I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. Bell is from C. Amy Draw. Again, lots of things. Um, this is another dashboard from Artist Daydream with the hollow foil again. I have another piece of acetate um, from the Scribble Prints Co. Print Pressions collab. Then I have this paper that came in a notebook from Michael's. It's to stop wishing and start doing. And then I have my yearly, ex a list of yearly expenses that I just want to keep track of. Um, this dashboard is also from Rose Color Days and I just put a postcard inside. Um, I think I bought two when I bought that set, but this is another one with the silver stars, which you can probably see a little better. The postcard, I believe, is from Hakabundo. I think it came in a set and it just says, I find happiness in rainbows. Um, on the back, I did put some die cuts. Um, this is one with my name. I don't remember where that's from, but it came as a freebie. The Smash the Patriarchy die cut sticker came with the This Is Us Paper House, Paper House Productions collab. I will link to that unboxing above and then this blah blah blah. Baymax die cut is from C. Amy Draw, and then I just have a list of some expenses that I'm keeping on. Um, this is very old paper that I had in my collection from when I was in personal, and then I think it's also from Blue Bear Korean stationery brand. I've had things in my collection a very long time. Anyways, the next section in here is list. 
Um, this paper is from the Popco sticker collab collection and I just cut it to show the deer because Harry Potter and I loved it. Love it. For a tiny little tribute that's not too loud. I know, mixed feelings about Harry Potter. On the back is just a paper I found in my a scrapbook paper that I found in my collection and this die cut business card is from Teeks. I just thought it was really pretty. I haven't decided what to put on top but we're still working through that and changing things. Um, this let's do this is from the planner spot. It's a freebie on her blog. I will try and link it or on her website. I will try and link it below. This postcard is an old postcard from Kate Spade. It says we are unapologetically feminine. This is another paper from Michaels. It says time to get things done. This is a list of reasons why I love Matt, still in my planner. I created a maintenance list because I've been watching a lot of Cindy and things that need to get done to be an adult. I have a products I love list. Um, just products that I'm, uh, right now it's just pens that I want to buy or like keep in my collection for a while now that I'm going through much of my stationery collection. Um, on a old Target dollar spot pad, this, this section has Avery labels. I did, I was indecisive about how I wanted to label this, but this, um, section is printables from Annie Plants Printables, I, and it just has recipes in here, because I don't really have a recipe book, but, um, this is the one that has squares and list columns um, with Sanrio characters. I will link to it if I can find it. Then I have a die cut holder with two pockets. I believe this, this is from Cat Espresso Co. I got it in pink for personal wide. This planner journal card says you matter you are loved you are worthy you are enough and i believe it is from planner press i will is it from planner press oh it might be from tool and twine co uh anyways i will link to it down below this sticker die cut the future is inclusive is from the paper house productions collection this stamp sticker is, I believe, from Bare Necessities. It came as a freebie. On the back, ooh, my die cuts are a little messed up. Um, these die cuts are from Paper Bowl Plans, but she's now closed, but I loved it anyway. It was in my collection. And this die cut down here just says, find your inner peace with a heartbeat. I just thought it was super cute. Um, this is a reading section with tabs from Avery. This first reading log, or both of my reading logs are from Justenia Principles. This one just has a list, so I have, you can do the book title, author, and note, I'm putting my reading over there, as well as there's just a bow line, so I'm listing the books that I read. Uh, at the end of that, I picked up the Creating and Co. 2021 Challenge. It's a sticker, so you can either leave it on the board or you, I just put it on a paper. So I have the reading challenge on the front with all the titles and then the, the other sticker on the back um, where you can put it cover the books for the numbers you finish. Then I made using one of the note papers. I made a list for the Rachel Dawson reading challenge. I will also link to her this challenge on her Instagram or blog down below. Then I have a section for book reviews. Um, this is also from Jesenia Printables. You can put the book title, author, notes, 
your rating in this line and then whether you completed it. So I have several of those printed off. Um, then I have a note section uh, paper from that Scroll Prints Co. Print Impressions collab, another part of that doily, and then another journaling card from the Pop Coast Dickers collab fit collection. Sorry, all of this you can't get anymore, I think. Um, I don't remember where this journal card is from, but it says grateful for where I'm at, excited about where I'm going. And then this Just Breathe um, card, I believe is the Rose Colored Days business card, and it just said Just Breathe on the back. So I thought that was really pretty, so I put it in here. This is another dashboard from Aria's Daydream. And then I just have miscellaneous paper in the back. I have some of that old Target dollar spot craft paper list. I have Target dollar spot paper, note paper that I've cut down. I have paper from Filofax. I have paper from Michaels. I have SM Plans paper. I have other notebook paper which I cut down. All kinds of paper which I'm using up. Then this flyleaf sticky note holder is from Filofax. And then as I use up the sticky notes, I'll just be replacing them with other sticky notes that I have in my collection. The pockets in the back are, they have six card slots plus the big pocket, which I just have an invoice that I'm keeping track of. And then a zipper pocket, which I don't have anything in. But this die cut journal card is from Virgo and Paper and it says this planner is a work in progress which I liked so I'm just gonna keep it back here so that is the end of my journal flip as you can see my planner is pretty stuffed and I'm gonna give myself room to change and room to grow hopefully not get too much bigger um and change my sections and things like that but i hope that you guys enjoyed this journal flip through and it gave you some inspiration ideas for how i'm you can use your personal mind planner and inserts and where to get some die cuts and everything um but yeah that is all for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this please keep up with me on social media i will leave all those links in the end card and hopefully i will see you guys very soon bye